sperm analysis male fertility remember male fertility here we are checking the ability of a man to make a woman pregnant how do you collect the sperms by male masturbation you don't have you don't engage in any sexual activities you don't use any rubricant because rubricant might kill the sperms when you have sex you you might get parcels that are not yours so you want to get the correct information abstaining is 3 to 7 days you abstain 3 to 7 days what are we checking number 1 you've seen there that is me checking the volume of the ejaculate the volume of the ejaculate should be between 1.5 to five milliliters of semen, right? Here we have eight ml. This patient had not ejaculated for more than two weeks, and hence the eight ml. Number two, we are checking for pH. What is the pH of semen? The pH of semen should be between 7.2 to 8.0 on this strip we are also checking leukocytes leukocytes are an indication of an sti that has come up all the way to your testicles and it is destroying the sperms number two we're also checking for blood if your semen has blood there is a problem you should get a scan, a scrotal scan, right? Yes, that is me here checking the leukocyte, pH, and blood. That is very important. Remember, as a man, you only need one sperm to be able to fertilize an egg. But it's important that you have a lot of sperm because sperm might die on the way. A sperm might not be very viable. There's other things you're going to check in this sperm, right? Eating healthy are going to help you produce healthy sperms, right? So that is me there. We're checking one drop of semen. You put one drop of semen on a slide, right? That is me there putting one semen on a slide. Yes. And remember, there's also one thing, another thing called liquefaction. Liquefaction is the time it takes for the semen to become liquid after ejaculation. You see? The time it takes for semen to become liquid after ejaculation is called semen liquefaction time. You see, when you look at semen, it is concentrated together, but we want it to become liquid to help the sperm move around. No more time, typically within 30 minutes, it should be able to become liquid, right? 30 minutes. You see me putting it back there, it is a liquid. It is dropping into drops. A liquid is able to drop into drops, right? Yes liquefaction is very important right so we have said we put one drop of semen and then we add a cover slide so that we do not contaminate the semen as we look at it on the microscope so microscopically there are things we are going to check here that cannot be seen by our normal eyes right so number one is called sperm count we have power 10 and power 40 you can see this patient has a lot of sperms that is something that you can be able to see this called sperm count the number of sperm present in the semen as you can see right here there are a lot of sperms moving hula baloo the center one shows you that is one field one circle is one field one drop 
might have more than 15 fields, right? So number one, we are checking for spam count. Normal ranges should be between 50 million spam per milliliter or more. And this patient has achieved that. That is just one field, right? And remember, one field, one drop. You can see how many spams are there. A lot of them. Okay. Number two is spam motility. Assess the percentage of moving spam and their movement quality. You can be able to see there's something called progression. A spam is able to move from one side of the of the field to the other side of the field. That means that that spam can be able to transverse from the vagina all the way to the ovary and fertilize an egg. In this case, you can see 40% or more sperm should be motile. Are they able to move? That's what's called progression. The other one is called sperm morphology. The shape and the structure of the sperm. You check at the head, the head, the neck, and the tail. Some sperm are going to have double hands. Yes, some sperms are going to have double hands. Some sperm are going to have a crooked head. That is going to delay their movement. All right. So, double morphology 4% or more sperms should have normal shape. You can see from this sample, most of the sperms have a good head, a good neck, and a good tail. We talked about, we talked about the pH. Spam viability. If you check these spams, how is the head? How is the tail? Are they able to move? So spam viability. Assess the percentage of live spams. Also, you're going to see that some spams are dead. That is very okay. But the biggest percentage of spam should be alive. And most of them has, have achieved this. 58% or more should be alive, right? That is sperm viability. There's also something called white blood cell count. The presence of white blood cells, which may indicate an infection, but normally you're going to have less than 1 million WBC per milliliter, which is normal. But if you have more than 1 million per milliliters of WBCs, there is a problem. We also check non-progressive spams. This should be less than 5%. Spams that are dead and are not progressing. Right? We've said spam motility, spam morphology, spam count, spam volume, fructose level, you should also check spam liquefaction, anti-spam antibodies. You should also check things like candida albicans. You should check for candida albicans. You should check for agglutination. And through that, you're able to tell if someone is fertile or not. If someone lacks spams totally, if someone doesn't have spams totally, you're going to check for testosterone. Testosterone is the hormone responsible for the production of spams. We are going to check, has, does the patient have blockage of tubes? Maybe that's why they don't have spams. Those are going to help to know if you are fertile. Remember, this is sperm analysis. Okay? Normal sperm here states that you have very good number of sperm count, the morphology is good, the sperm viability is nice. If you stop complaining that you are your wife is not getting pregnant, get a sperm analysis test. Let's know who is the cause of you not getting children in your home. This is Health Matters Plus. My name is Dr. Gomba. Book your appointment. Let's check your sperms. Remember, abstain from sex for three to seven days. Come and correct the sperms at our lab. Thank you very much.